Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows via a flash drive. Now of all the PC builds I've been doing, a lot of you guys have been asking, Hey Dan, can you make a tutorial on how to install Windows from a flash drive? Now, if you have noticed, all the PC builds that I've done recently, as well as them being incredibly popular, which I'm kind of pleased about, also, yeah, none of them have included disk drives, and it's because we all have flash drives on our keys, you know, we, we all have kind of like, you know, SD cards with, you know, memory card readers. You can even use these actually to install Windows, and, yeah, you know, flash drives, we all have them, and this is why I I would never rather kind of recommend buying a DVD drive because you're gonna buy it once, you're gonna spend ten pounds, yeah, you're gonna use that once. Chances are you're never gonna really use it again, and it's gonna also occupy space in your PC, uh, which to be honest is a waste. And yeah, you're gonna be wasting money on say SATA cable and all that nonsense. So yeah, this tutorial is gonna be a flash drive tutorial, and yeah, just gonna gonna switch the camera, um, get it just load up at OBS, record the screen. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows via a flash drive. It is actually relatively simple. So just moving over to the PC, the first thing that you'd want to do to install Windows from a flash drive is to actually get an ISO image of your Windows um, yeah, disk. So first of all, the easiest thing to do is actually to put your Windows disk into another PC and yeah, to load up a program called Image Burn. Now you can get this from the website, it's a free piece of software. So it's called Image Burn and they class it as the ultimate image burning kind of software. So yeah, download this and uh, yeah, once you've downloaded this, essentially you want to put your disk in and click Create Image File from Disk. Then once you've done this, you will essentially get this here, which is an ISO image of Windows. Now I personally do have installed Windows 7 Professional N with the Surface Pack 2 and this is actually the 64-bit version. Now if you guys don't, don't have the actual DVD uh, disc or you're, you're not wanting to buy it and get delivered uh, in disc format, you can download it from the internet. Now as I'm a student at the University of Hull here in the UK, I do actually have a DreamSpark account which enables me to actually get free copies of uh, the Windows operating system. However, they don't mail this to you, Microsoft don't mail it to you, and yeah, you do, you do have to download this. And with me actually clicking this download button, I do then get my ISO, which again is in this folder. Now, yet again, you know, this kind of ISO is useless unless you know what to do with it. So what you want to do with this ISO, so if you've got it from, you know, say DreamSpark or Amazon, or say if you have just burnt it from a disk, yeah, the next thing you want to do is actually go over to uh, codeplex.com. So it's uh, WUD t.codeplex.com that stands for the Windows USB download tool you want to click the good old download button now I'm just going to say don't let it fool you it says Windows 7 uh, download tool don't worry this will work for every single um, yeah, Windows operating system so click the download button once that's downloaded there you want to click on here you want to click run then you want to click next install and then yeah you just want to wait until this is finished while this is doing so, you just want to actually close your web browser there. And yeah, just wait for this to install, click finish, and then you should have the program here. Now once you've got the program, click yes to launch that. And then, um, yeah, this is a piece of software that's actually come from the Microsoft Store. First, so the first thing that you want to do is choose your ISO file. So if you click on browse there, you want to go to the desktop, and then you want to select the ISO. So for me, it is in the Windows folder, so here, the Windows 7 Professional N. Click on there, and then click open. Next thing, click the next button, and then you want to be choosing your media type. The first stuff, uh, first up, yeah, I'm actually going to be clicking on USB device. As you can see here, it actually says no compatible devices found. So get your USB from your pocket. So you know, just plug it in there. So let's get my flash drive here, plug it into the machine. There we are, it's all nice installed. I'm just going to check actually if there's, a, if there's anything on here. So there's nothing on this flash drive, I don't believe. Oh yes, there is. This is one of the game things. I'm just drag this. Uh, well, let me just take all this, put it on, on my desktop. Excuse me for a moment. Uh, whoops. What guys in there. Yes, yeah, so just to uh, ignore that. Then I didn't do that. So yeah, once you just plug your flash drive in, you want to make sure that it's all empty, which it is, because what this program is going to do is it's actually going to format it. So I select your drive, just click the refresh button. So yeah, it's found my flash drive, and as you can see, if, just go, if I just go to computer, it is actually an empty drive there, so there, an empty drive. So yeah, you want to be clicking, click on begin copy, and then it will say that it will erase everything, because so it's got to format it into a format that Windows can actually boot from. So click erase USB drive, and it'll say, you know, are you sure? Yeah, you just want to click the yes button, so there we are. 
So now it is actually creating a bootable USB drive. This can take between five to 10 minutes, depending on how fast your flash drive is. The one I'm using is actually a USB 2 flash drive. I will say actually, um, most USB flash drives will not be supported. As I, and as you guys know, um, when you first do build a PC and once you get your Windows installed, you do actually have to install a USB 3 driver. So I will recommend using a USB 2 flash drive here, just for compatibility reasons. Um, because yeah, computers are pretty dumb um, when you first kind of, uh, you know, install your OS, you know, just don't know what it's doing, um, so that's all good. So yeah, once this is done, um, yeah, you'll all be finished, and here yeah, I'll have an actual bootable USB, which you'll be able to boot up on your computer. Essentially, when you start your computer, you just want to tap your, your BIOS key, so that'll be rather your F2 or your delete to get into the BIOS, and then you want to set it to boot from a USB key. Alternatively, you can just click F12, and then on the boot screen, you'll be prompted uh, with an actual uh, yeah, little prompt to tell you what you want to use as your boot drive. Yeah, you just want to click on your flash drive. And that guys has pretty much been it. hope this tutorial has helped. And yeah, you're, you're actually able now to install Windows from a flash drive. And uh, yeah, that's kind of about it. It's very, very simple. As you can see, just when we're talking, this is taking quite a bit to uh, prepare. But um, yeah, once it's done, it's done. And yeah, you'll be able to install Windows from a flash drive like a you know, civilized human being and not using stupid disk drives, which are... Uh, to be honest, they will be obsolete in a few years, trust me. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.